Story number seven, Jacob Runs Away. Uh, we are in the infant stages to Christ. We know that God is our Heavenly Father. He is our Creator. He loves us, and He's the one that guides us. And uh, we say thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, for time to put in to pray, and also for the story. God loves you all. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and welcome back. Story number eight, here we go. Jacob runs away. Jacob was running away. He wanted to stay at home, but he couldn't. His brother Esau was so angry at the trick Jacob had played on him. Jacob must go to his uncle, miles and miles away. It was getting dark now. Jacob was scared. He was all alone, and he didn't know where he was. Yeah! Jacob jumped. What was that? A fierce wild animal that would eat him up? Jacob was very scared. When at last he went to sleep, Jacob had a dream. It was a good dream. In his dream, there were stairs right up to heaven, with angels going up and down them. Then God was right there, talking to him. I have a special present for you, God said. I am giving you this land. It's for you and your children, and your children's children. I have a wonderful plan for the whole world, and your family is part of it. Don't be scared anymore. You aren't all alone. I shall be with you always, and I will bring you safe home. That's a promise. When Jacob woke up, he wasn't scared anymore. He knew he wasn't all alone. I will love and trust you always, Jacob said to God, if you keep your promise. He didn't know yet that God always keeps his promises. Before long, Jacob was safe at Uncle Laban's house. He helped him look after the sheep. Jacob was away from home a long, long time. He worked hard for his uncle, and he married both his cousins. Uncle Laban tricked him into marrying Leah before he let Jacob marry Rachel, the one he really loved. Two wives at once was not a good idea. They quarreled. When they said they quarreled, that mean they argued or fought over Jacob, making everyone unhappy. Jacob had a big family, 11 boys and a girl. He had many sheep of his own, but he was sick of Uncle Laban's nasty tricks. It was time to go home. They were nearly home when Jacob began to worry. What would his brother Esau do? Was he still angry? I'll send him some presents, Jacob decided, but he was still worried. That night, Jacob could not sleep. He was all alone, but he knew God was there to help him. All this time, God has kept me safe, Jacob said to himself. Now he is bringing me home. Everything will be all right. Next day, Esau was so glad to see him. He hugged and kissed Jacob, and they both cried. Jacob was home again. The end. I thank you all for coming. Tomorrow will be uh, story number eight, which is jealousy in family, which will be about Jacob's, Joseph's jealous brothers. Anyway, tomorrow story number eight. And um, I thank you guys for your time. Thank you, little ones, for coming. And God bless you all and family members all. I get, uh, God bless you all. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And um, if your families haven't seek the Lord, please try and seek him because we know that he is going to return and he loves us all.